Hey, what's going on? This is Original Flow, and we're just doing something yet again. Uh, <laughs> um, we're just having uh, friends, fans, and and uh, supporters listen to my upcoming album, The Black Man Kid Boy. Uh, it's going to be coming out September 18th on my birthday, and we're just giving a live listen uh, to one of the songs that they chose, and we're just going to go from there. I'm going to ask them a few questions. And yeah, y'all enjoy. Uh, a sneak peek. <laughs> <laughs> so the song you chose was Lately, right? Yes, sir. All right. We're going to get it playing. I'm struck in a maze, numbed up to the face that summed up my day. I just can't escape. I wanna leave this place. This life is giving me chase. Am I losing this race? I know I'm not accepted. Being black is holding weapons. Guess I should've got protection. I speak and don't respect it. Every week I feel rejected. Closing off, I got perfected. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Losing all my space. I don't get back. Yeah. I wanna rest my soul, but I can't just relax. I wanna be left alone in my bed, in my home. Don't hit me up, don't call my phone. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Wanna be left alone in my bed, in my home. Don't hit me up, don't call my phone. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Maybe I've been stressing, deep in my depression, falling under pressure. I'm just playing catch up, yeah. Lately I've been stressing, yeah. Leaving my depression, yeah. Falling under pressure, I'm just playing catch up. Escaping my mental, I thought it was simple, but I guess it is not. Stuck with these issues, abusing this tissue is all that I got. Negative energy pulling me in with me, how do I stop? Started off smaller, but then it got bigger, and now it's a lot. Catching up a losing pace, hold my breath and blowing face. What the hell is new today? Who the hell is you today? How do I communicate? Hear the truth and mute the fakes. See the sadness through my face. People ask, are you okay? Look at that hashtag. Feel the hell of down with these flashbacks All the pain in my heart, you can have that Don't stand in my way, but a backpack Loose grip, but the shoe fit Do this to the cool kid Finally finding myself I don't know where to go I wanna be left alone In my bed, at my home Don't hit me up, don't call my phone Leave me alone, leave me alone Wanna be left alone In my bed, at my home Don't hit me up, don't call my phone Leave me alone Leave me alone. Let me have a stress. Deep in my depression. Falling under pressure. I'm just playing catch up. Let me have a stress. Deep in my depression. Falling under pressure. I'm just playing catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So I'm curious. I really <laughs> am curious. Um, why choose that one? Cause man, I went through it. Yeah. Yeah. Depression. And like, I don't know, man, like it's just something about the song that like it just it gives me a vibe, like on that hook, you know what I mean? Leave me alone. You know what I mean? Mm. Let me be. And like, I don't know. Like so like when i graduated high school in 2018 like i like it was like the greatest year and also like the worst year of my life you know what i mean like because i graduated and i was happy and i was ready you know what i mean and then i lost my cousin lost my father and i lost my grandma all in like within six months you know what i mean Jeez, man. yeah it was really tough and like i don't know man like I, like i just i got into like a real slump and then like 2019 was like also really hard and then it wasn't until this year that I actually started like getting out and like actually getting my stuff together. And then, yeah, like it, I just resonated with the song. You know what I mean? I downloaded it when it first came out. Man, thank you. I'm, yeah. I'm happy 
you came out of that. Yeah. For sure. Like I, I am happy because not a lot of people who fall into depression, they make it out, you know? Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's, that's tough. Uh, it's, it's a mind like warp, you know, you get stuck and, you know, making it out is a big accomplishment. Yeah. So I'm glad you did for real. Thanks man. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, yeah. so, um, you mentioned the 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 hook a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, why do you feel like why do you feel like the like the chorus resonated with you so much? Man, because that's exactly what I was doing. Yeah, you know what I mean. I was there'd be days where I literally just wake up and then just stay in bed till like three o'clock. Yeah, and like I did nothing productive but be on Instagram, just watching videos on YouTube and just kind of like wasting my life. You know what I mean? Mm. And then I just like. I started to just, like just speak to people about it, man. And I just told them I was like, "Look, man, like I, I'm really going through it. Like I need to like change my lifestyle." And I just pretty much just started eating healthier, drinking more water. You know what I mean? I started taking my job more seriously, like my day job, hmm. and just trying to like you know push through. You know what I mean? Like that. Of course, there's ups and downs every single day. We all go through things. You know what I mean? But I've kind of figured it out. You know what I mean? And there's been t like times where like, dude, like. I enjoy, you know what I mean, my everyday life, you know what I mean? It's kind of crazy, you know what I mean? Because even though everything that's going on right now, Man. you know what I mean? Like, I, <laughs> really? like there's days where I'm just like, dude, I'm not even going to look at my phone. You know what I mean? I'm just going to, like, live in the moment. I'm going to read this book that I got or I'm going to just write, you know what I mean? I started journaling and also I'm working on a project, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got, like, the EP in the works. Yeah. And, yeah, it's just, it's, you know, I got something to look forward to that keeps me going. Good. Yeah, and, like, I don't know yeah <laughs> no that's that's good man that's that's really good points i feel like uh you know like being able to apply yourself into these different avenues in your life that you're pursuing you know gets you further away from that that stuck feeling mm -hmm. of being almost helpless at least mm -hmm. that's how i felt with my depression um but you know you applying yourself to these things um you could in turn inspire someone else to do the same, mm. you know? So what do you feel like, um, as far as like the lyrics, um, are concerned, do you feel like they kind of persona personify, um, like how you were feeling at those moments yeah. that you're in depression? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. But also like, besides that, like, I also like, you know, as a musician, you know what I mean? I was just so interested in the process. Like, you know what I mean? Like I wanted to like look into like, you know, the, from the production to like the writing process, you know what I mean? Cause like, you know what I mean? I'm an artist, so yeah. like I, I like care about everything. You know what I mean? I pay attention, I study like my craft, mm -hmm. you know? And I just, that that's also one thing that like really like stuck out to me, you know what I mean? Cause it felt different from what, you know what I mean? When I go out to like, you know, Hubbly Bubbly, I seen you perform at places, like it just seems like different. You know mm. what I mean? This seemed a little bit more chill. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Like. It was, it was, um, it was something I was, when I wrote this song, I was really scared to write this song um, because, you know, I was going through it when I wrote it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing like from artists, artists like, we go through these things and then we may talk about them later um, but it's, at least for me, like, it's very rare when we write as we're going through it. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those songs where I did that. Yeah. And that was literally the first thing that came out of my mouth was, lately I've been stressing deep in my depression. I wouldn't even mean for that to be the hook. It mm -hmm. just like, I was like, man, this is like my mantra right now. This is what mm -hmm. I'm going through. And, you know, uh, when my mom passed, like it just those lyrics like just kind of just poured out of me mm -hmm. you know it is poured out of me uh and even doing the music video for yeah. that um like they were like yeah man just kind of look try to look sad and i was like bro i'm already there <laughs> like you don't you don't have to tell me like mm -hmm. i am depressed yeah i am going through depression mm -hmm. um so it was easy to do those shots because, you know, I was literally, that's my real bed. Like mm -hmm. I was in my real bed, just laying there. And it was a perfect shot for me. Cause I was like, man, yeah. this is as real as I can get. 
and like the whole dunking under the water thing like mm -hmm. that was real you know i was you know thinking that i was just way over my head and i'm drowning mm -hmm. um i am drowning in my emotions so I, i'm really am glad that you you resonate with that song because um that was my intention like mm -hmm. i wanted to put my my negativity into something that could help someone or just to have someone to like hey i feel that mm -hmm. this is going to get me through this um so uh do you feel like i guess another question would be do you feel like this is something like this song is something that you uh could use as it's an interesting question, but do you feel like it's more of a like a like a remedy to what's going on? Or do you feel like it's more of a um, something that kind of helps with what you're dealing with? Mm. I mean, I just kind of like I kind of looked at it more of like something I can relate to. You know okay. what I mean? That like it, it kind of reminded me like I'm not alone. You know yeah. what I mean? Like there's people outside of my own like you know mind and my own world that you know i mean i have depression too and i go through their own mm. struggles yeah and uh in a way it kind of inspired me you know what i mean like i i wrote about like whatever i was going through you know what i mean just even if it's not even in rap form just journaling mm. like that helps a lot you know what i mean because once it's like on paper like it's like out of your head i don't know for me that's just how it is no that's real yeah that's why i even carry this you know what i mean like i have that's my own impressive. like <laughs> <Be a book. laughs> and just write whatever like i'm feeling you know what i mean throughout yeah. the day and then whenever like i'm at the studio or whatever like i can like look back you know what i mean and they'll like inspire something mm. and that's yeah and i don't forget you know what i mean because that's one thing you know what i mean you forget throughout the day you know what i mean Man. if you come up with an idea you forget it's like if you don't write it down, you will forget it. So I do it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I forget all the time. Mm -hmm. She carry one of these, man. I I had one for a very long time. <laughs> it was like a small little book, uh -huh. and I would take it everywhere, mm -hmm. and uh, the pages just got worn, and mm -hmm. weather conditions, and me not being careful. Um, so I like, yeah, I made a it was like almost like an artist sacrifice because mm -hmm. I was like, man, I really don't like typing in my phone, mm -hmm. but that just became my thing. Like, yeah. I mean, I do it very unsafely. Guys don't write lyrics and drive, um, <laughs> but I do it like all the time. <laughs> I do it all the time. Like, uh, actually someone called me today on my way here. They was like, hey, don't text and drive. They like hit me up on my Instagram. Uh -huh. I'm, like, I'm writing lyrics. I'm like, oh crap um but i think i think that's important um what you had mentioned is like once it's out of your head like you can put it in paper and it's mm -hmm. like it's you feel uh, like almost a relief mm -hmm. that's how i felt when i did lately um i felt like a, a relief once i had got it out yeah but, you know and then putting it into something that can be used for you know something positive so I'm happy that it was able to touch you in a way to, you know, inspire some writing. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like that's what other artists are supposed to do. Like we're supposed to inspire other art to be created. Um, at least in my own perspective, I feel like I think that's important yeah. uh, for another artist to want to listen. It's like, oh man, this makes me think of this and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, create your own, you know, reality. Um, so I appreciate that, man. Thanks, man. For real. Um, so do you have any questions you want to ask me? Oh, man. <laughs> Pull that book. <laughs> yeah, I did I did write a few questions. Okay. Let me uh, find it real quick. Um, Is that your real afro? <laughs> <laughs> no. <gasps> Somewhere. In here. Um, I mean, off the top of my head, I can't find it. It's somewhere in here. But, oh, yeah, I found it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so what was the creative process behind Lately? Like, from the production to the writing? Like, did you make that beat? No, I did not. Mm -hmm. um, my best friend, uh, he produced this whole album. Oh, nice. Uh, he goes by P.O.B. Making Hits, Peace, Love, and Beats. 
I don't know. Um, he also helped with the mixing as mm. well. Um, he is a phenomenal person. On on top of being like my brother for life, like I've been knowing him since elementary school. Oh, nice. And we we grew up together, and we've always wanted to work on a project together. Um, we just had to get to that moment in which life put us together on that perfect moment. And when it did, like, I feel like this is some of the best work we've created. Um, but when he was seeing I was going through all this stuff, um, he was sending me beats, uh, like you were telling me, um, you and your producer are working mm -hmm. together. Um, he sent me uh, stuff when we were first trying to get a feel for the album. And I was like, yeah, this is good. Uh, yeah, that's that's dope, but I can't mm. rap to that, you know. And then once we kind of got a feel for what was going on, the tonality of the album, um, and then we started to get the chance to know each other even on a deeper level, um, because we've always been friends, um, like we know each other's families, uh, but we never did a song together or so multiple songs or mm. a project, you know. So it just took that next step of knowing the person. And when he got that chance to sit down and, and send that beat to me, I was like, bro, that's, yeah, mm -hmm. I can write to this. And it was on time. It was on time for me. And writing that, like I said, I was in the moment of, of depression and sadness. Um, but I wanted to put it somewhere. And I felt like if I didn't, you know, it was gonna be bad for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it was going to be really bad for me. So I wanted to create a positive outlet, outlook. Um, even though the song is talking about depression, it it's in a way of, like you said, it's relatable. And I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. And that's how you feel when you're depressed. Yeah. Um, you know, you feel like you're dealing with this by yourself. This is what I'm going through by myself. And no one really gets a chance to jump in because people who are not okay with expressing their feelings, it's hard for them to talk about those things. Even though they're going through depression, um, they can't speak on them because they never got that avenue to want to speak on. So I wanted to create kind of like that open door, like, hey, I'm going through it too. You know, you can relate to this song maybe this is a, a icebreaker for you to actually take the next step. Mm -hmm. You know, some people, uh, you know, may go and see a, a shrink or a therapist yeah. afterwards. And I think that's great. I think people should uh, do that, you know, listening to the song. That's why I asked if it was kind of like a, like a remedy or mm -hmm. something, because um, it was for me, like doing that song helped me a lot through what I was going yeah. through. Um, but that was pretty much my process, like writing the song down. And it was like this this tightly knit uh, relationship that I had mm -hmm. with my bro. Yeah. Um, and we were just able to just fuse our heads together, you know, fusion, huh? you know, <laughs> <laughs> and really come together. And we, you know, we just created this masterpiece. It was beautiful. <laughs> um, and I, I love him to death. Um, and it was it was good that we were able to not only have fun making this project, mm -hmm. but it was a really great project. I yeah. feel like so. Thank you, man. Was, yeah. Um, I think that's all the questions I have for you. Um, unless you want to throw in something else. Uh, no, nah, man. I think that's it, man. All right. Well, uh, tell honest. tell the people who you are, man. Well, um. A rapper named Artifacts, spelled A R T O F A X. I'm on every platform, and I just released a song today called Thank You, dedicated to my father. And I want to say shout out to Original Flow, because he's a fellow artist and uh, he inspires me sometimes. Sometimes, all the time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he most definitely inspired me with this song called Lately. And yeah, thank you, bro. Appreciate thank it. you. Appreciate you, bro. Thank mm -hmm. you for coming out, man. Appreciate oh. that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you have it. Thank you guys.